This is my 2011 Kia Sorento. I've been having this clicking sound down in a gear shifter for many years now. And I have the engine running. And let's see if it still makes that sound. You can probably hear it every time I push on the brake. That clicking sound occurs. And it seems like it's not causing an issue with any type of shifting or performance or braking or things like that. Um, I have read that it could be a solenoid in down in there somewhere. I have read on forums that when you take it to the dealer they say that's normal, but I don't think it's normal because when I first got it for the first couple of years it didn't make that sound. Uh, and then I think I read one thread where somebody put some uh, silicone lubrication on the solenoid lever or something like that. Well in any case I'm gonna take it apart and uh, see what I can do about it. I, it's kind of a discovery process. I don't know how it all comes apart but I'll try to film most of it. I do have the solenoid. I bought that online. Since I was taking it apart I wanted to have it in my hand. Uh, so. I'll give it a try and see where it goes. So I put the uh, shifter in neutral here. I'm going to try to pull this knob off. I've seen videos where you just got to pull really hard on it and you put it in neutral so you don't hit uh, the buttons on the front console. So I'm going to give it a try. There. Oh, it didn't come off. Transfer came... complete came off uh, pretty easy. Easier than I thought. So I don't know how this comes off. But it seems like there must be some clips on there. So I'm lift up on this. I don't know if I have all the right tools. But see if I can see some. Uh, I think I poked a tab there. Right there. Oh yeah, now it's coming. I think there must be some tabs right here or around. I think I got the right hand side kind of. Now I'm just kind of pulling up. Oh yeah, there are some tabs now here on the left side. I can feel them. I think I gotta put this in neutral because this lever is in the way here. So I gotta put it back in neutral. So I just got the ignition on, now I push the brake. Oh yeah, now it comes. That was my problem. I, uh... Let me think here. Not sure what's holding it up now. There's a wire connector here that has to get unplugged. Oh, there, once I unplugged that wire connector, it came out. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I turned the car back on, put it in park, and hitting the brake lever here. I don't know if it's the solenoid or that plastic piece that's making the noise. Um, but just to give you a little perspective of where that part is, here's the gear shifter and that part in there. So, well, here's another view of the lever again. And I cannot tell if the plastic's making the sound or the solenoid that goes down there further on the, on, the, on the driver's side is actually making the sound just to eliminate maybe the plastic piece making the sound I'm gonna I'm gonna put some lube in there and just see if that helps 
Well, I sprayed some lube on that plastic lever down there, and that didn't seem to help, so I'm thinking it has to be a solenoid. So to get at that, to get at the solenoid, I think I have to take the whole console out. I'm not sure how that comes apart. I did clean out my compartment here, and there's three bolts there. So I'm going to start with that, and then see what budges after that. So far on a so far on a console, I removed those three bolts there. Those are 10 millimeter socket I use, but it's still kind of rigid at the front, and so there's those Phillips screws there, four of them. I'm going to remove those and see what's tight after that. Well, I only removed two of them. The one that or the two that hold the console to the shifter assembly there. And then it's still tight in the front, and what I found was that, right out of here, there's two screws on each side here. I have a little cover here I just popped off with a screwdriver, and I see two Phillips, one on each side. I'm going to take those out now. Well, I took those two screws out. Now I can lift up on it and it's like popped here. So I think I can get this out now, but I'm going to have to shut the recorder off and use two hands here. It's kind of awkward. But um, I'm thinking it should pull kind of now right out of here. As you can see, I'm lifting it way up. In the second row seat now, and now I found out, I was trying to lift up, that there's some two connectors there that I have to unplug. That when I was trying to lift up, I was going like, what's holding this up? And there's two uh, ones there, so I'm going to undo those, and I think it should be free. Well, now with those two connectors unplugged, I should be able to pull this out. here in the driver passenger side. Well as you can see that's what it looks like when it's all pulled out. Okay so now with that console out I'm gonna Take a closer look at the clicking sound here. And I'm gonna push the brake here. So I push the brake. There's that rubber stop right there, but that's not making the sound. I'm just going to replace that solenoid and see if that does it. Well, I just, uh, I didn't replace the solenoid here. I just took it out and that solenoid is not making any noise. So there's got to be a plastic piece that is making the noise. And it sure did sound like a plastic hitting noise anyway. So. Let me look around some more and see what I can find out. So after looking around a lot on this thing, I think the real noise is not from plastic on plastic. It's hard to get a good shot here, but it's just that the shaft and the pivot are not the right diameter. I can simulate the clicking sound by just wiggling the, the pivot against the barrel and I think when it gets pulled maybe you can hear it here so I'm just wiggling that so now I have to think what can I do to make that stiffer in there or order a whole new pivot maybe the pivot gets worn or the shaft gets worn one of the two 
So anyway, I'll have to think of a solution. So I took that lever out that is the one that keeps going like this. How I got that out of there, okay, so that goes in here like like so and this is the shaft and that shaft just you guess there's a little slot there you just gotta lift up so you can pull the shaft out pretty simple concept so I just pulled this uh, shaft out and then that piece came out so I'm thinking what to do with that. The shaft wiggles in there just a very slight amount. And I think that's what's, what's causing the clicking sound because when I use two hands, I can kind of wiggle that shaft in there and uh, make a little sound. So, again, I'm going to try to think of a solution, or the worst case is I'm, I'm thinking the shaft isn't worn, it's the it's the pivot that's worn inside there because there is not much of a, it's not a solid barrel like, like that gets worn just that, that slight ring there inside gets worn and that's why I think it first couple of years I owned a vehicle and make a sound but then that wore down that thin wall So, back to the drawing board. So my solution I'm going to try is I'm going to get it, take an O-ring and put an O-ring in there and it will stretch over the barrel and I think it will then cushion any movement of that barrel against the plastic uh, pivot piece. Uh, this is a half inch inner diameter, three quarter outer diameter, one eighth inch thick uh, O-ring I got at the hardware store. So I'm going to try to get that in there and go from there. So I have my O-ring in there now. I had to Dremel it on the outer diameter a little bit to get it to get in there nicely. Um, I just dremeled it with uh, a sanding little end like that. But I'm going to go give this a try and, and put it in the car with that shaft and see, see what result I have. So I shaved off enough of the o-ring such that when I have it in there it, uh, it rotates easy. You don't want it tight in there because I tried it when it was too tight the o-ring was too thick and then the solenoid would not uh, move it so I shaved off some more of the outer edge of the o-ring so now it rotates in there pretty easily I'm gonna try it now and see what happens so now with the o-ring on the shaft got it in there seems really snug now so I'm gonna put the solenoid back on there and see if it works. Now that I have the pivot back in there after looping it up I'm going to put uh, the solenoid back in there. Uh, I didn't show you how it came out but it's pretty simple. The metal hook of the solenoid goes right there. There's a rubber boot right there and I kind of it popped out on me almost lost it so be careful if you remove that so let me try to get the solenoid back in there tricky. I'm gonna have to go from the other side and push that rubber boot in. Make sure it's nicely snug in there. 
So I have that solenoid in place and then there's this piece that just slides through here to lock it in. And that's all there is to it. So I'm just making sure that rubber boot is in there. So uh, let me start the car back up and see if the noise still exists. Okay, now I got it in there with the O-ring and I'll press the brake pedal. Goes back slowly, but I do not hear any clicking anymore. So I am think I'm gonna leave it and And I think I'm good. I don't, I don't think that O-ring will really wear out that much. Uh, so I didn't think I'm good for a long time. Well, that's my fix. Um, and I think it should go back together pretty easily now. Now, before I did start putting it back together again, I did tie a string to this uh, electrical cable here so I don't have to fish it out or the string will allow me to fish it out uh, later so I just tied the string and to the shifter lever and I'll tuck it back in here and I can pull it up uh, later so I put the shift lever back in neutral to get this uh, console back in there it went in pretty easy um, I did uh, hook the connectors, wire connectors in the back and it lines up pretty nice uh, so I just have to put the three screws in there again 10 millimeter uh, two screws here and then the, then the screw on each side and then uh, I didn't mention before but these panels probably pull off first uh, before you take the center console off this panel and uh, that panel there so those just pull out uh, so you should be able to pull those out pretty easily so that should be the first thing you do before you take the center console out so before I put this piece back in I got everything back together I just uh, uh, wanted to show you where the tabs were on the back of here so you can see there's two tabs uh, there, one there, one there, and two there. Now it looks like those tabs you can just really pull up. I don't think you have to really worry about breaking them. So if you just pull up with a little good tug, I, I would think they should uh, pop off. Uh, so I got everything back together, cars on, and I do not hear that clicking anymore. And so, uh, simple fix if I knew all the steps already. Uh, so that O-ring is the key and, and, and getting that O-ring to fit nicely. At least that's my solution. Uh, hope you find this uh, video helpful if you're going to take a chance and uh, uh, dig into it and try to do your own fix. Trans